Oh, hey, bud. There you go. Tell your friends. Well, who's got the first question out there for me this evening? Uh, Nick, yeah, uh, Rod Johnson, ESPN Online. I just wanted to uh, ask you a quick question, man. That, that birdie that you made uh, you know, on the first hole of the tee-off, it was just, uh, just about the most amazing shot I've ever seen. It, was there a question in there? No? Just observation? Well, I appreciate that, Rod. Um, yeah, that was one of the better one of the better shots I hit today. Um, laid off the nine iron a little bit, just knocked it down. Was able to hit it up there about six feet. Knock it down, get me started off on the right foot. Um, unfortunately, that was one of only a couple today, so just got a little squirrely on the back and just couldn't get the job done. But uh, thank you. Right here. Oh, right on, Nick. Uh, Larry Cumberbatch from the BBC in London. Uh, the only question the uh, the viewers in my area are more interested in knowing is, what do you think about in, in the moments that are leading up to the time when you actually tee off? What is going through Nick Russell's mind? Uh, that's a good question, Larry. Um, I think it's... That's, one of the most important things is to get your mind right before you go out there and, and tee off. Um, you want to have all positive thoughts going in. Um, leave all the negative stuff behind. Don't worry about that double you made yesterday. Um, you know, you, you just gotta, you know, you gotta have selective memory out there. You know, it's a, it's a tough game. It's, the golf's played as much in between here as it is, you know, your physical abilities. Uh, but, you know, I'm not really answering your question, though, am I? Uh, you know, I just, I kind of try to hang loose, you know, I'll throw on the headphones, listen to a little Katy Perry, or, uh, you know, whatever, and, you know, just, just try to hang loose. That's all you can do. But thank you for your question. shot I hit all week. Um, I had 205, um, had a back pin, so we, we felt like four hybrid was the play there. Um, there was really not, not much trouble along, so I just, you know, kept my head down and just put a good move on it. Rolled right by the jar. I heard the roar from way back up the fairway. Thought for a second it might drop, but uh, anyway, turned out to be an easy tap in eagle. Um, that got me to a comfortable position um, at that point in the round. But like I said, all for naught now, you know. But, but yeah, that was that was pure. Right here. Bill Mays, NBC Sports. Um, just talk about what happened on number 13. I'm sorry. Phil D's? That's your name? Really? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, 13, you said? Um, well, as you know, that's uh, kind of where things started going in the wrong direction. Uh, I hit what I always do off the tee there. Um, tried to play a little hybrid around the corner. Uh, tried to bite off a little bit too much and ended up in the woods. And as you know, it's pretty thick down in there. So, um, 
hacked it out with my second shot, hit a tree, went in deeper than I was originally. Um, hacked it a couple more times, finally got back in play, uh, knocked it up on the green, two putted for a smooth triple bogey seven. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where that, that did me in. You know, I was on tilt from that point. You know, couldn't seem to get anything going, you know, from that point on. But um, yeah, just got a little greedy. Tried to bite off a little much when I had a couple of lead. I should have just, should have just hit it on down there, right down the middle, and, you know, at worst, make a five. But that's golf. USA Today. Nick, you have had a run of rough luck or of late. Do you think you'll ever be able to keep it together for an entire tournament to bring home your first victory on tour? Yeah, I do. Next question. Here. Andrew Longfellow. Nick, did you choke today? No. I didn't choke. Come on, man. Next. Yeah, Todd Jones, Fox Sports South. Nick, you've had um, two great finishes over the past month. Uh, two two runner-up finishes. Um, you seem to be right there, ready to break through for your first career victory. Um, what do you think it's going to take to put you over the edge? What, what, do you, what do you think you need to work on to to uh, bring home that first trophy to put in the trophy case in your new home. Put me over the edge. I am the edge, pal. Next question. Nick, you saw a four-shot lead evaporate over the final six holes and still had two pots to win on 18. How will that three-pot affect you going forward? And do you feel like you'll ever be This interview is over. Well, you can tell everybody. Yeah, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes I am, yes I am, yes I am I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man Well you can tell everybody Yeah you can tell everybody Go ahead and tell everybody I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man Well you can tell everybody Yeah you can tell everybody Go ahead and tell everybody I'm the man